Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you two further examples of plotting linear inequalities. Now, what's important about these linear inequalities and the difference between these ones and the last ones is that in these inequalities, we're dealing with inequalities that are built of three expressions, not two. So notice in example five, we've got negative four is less than or equal to x is less than three. So we've got three expressions here, one, two, three. Now the way in which we plot these is very similar to linear inequalities with two expressions, but it's just a few more steps involved, but it's actually not that much more harder. Now the first thing I'm going to do is when I see a linear inequality that's got three expressions, I find it really hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it. So first part is I'm going to grab the parts on the left and I'm going to write out negative four is less than or equal to x. And I'm going to rewrite it such that x is the subject. So I've got to flip the inequality sign over and move the x to the left and the minus four to the right. And that's my first part of the inequality. The second part is this guy over here. And all we need to do for that is simply go x is less than three. And now we're good to go. Next step is I'm going to go for the number line. So bringing up my ruler, I'm going to carefully, carefully rule a straight line. Put my minus four over here and I'll put the arrow in here like so. Then in this little part here, we'll mark that as zero just for reference. Now, next part is we need to finish this number line off. So zero, one, two, three, and throw in the arrow. Then final step is the variable we're working with today is X. All right, we've got our number line set up. Next step is we need to draw the inequalities on the number line. So first one we'll go with is this guy over here. X is greater than or equal to minus four. To plot this one, we draw a circle over the minus four and we shade it in because it's greater than or equal to. And then just for now, we're going to draw a line with a temporary arrow on it like so. First one done. Second one now, X is less than three. We're going to get a circle and put it just over the three on the number line. And notice that X is less than three. So the arrow is going to point in this direction. Now notice we've got two on the number line like so what we can do is we can remove the arrowheads like so and we can simply join them up so what this is representative of is that the value x can take on any value between negative four or between an inclusive of negative four and up to three but not including three so that's our first inequality plotted Next one, example five, we've got two is greater than y is greater than or equal to five. Once again, what we're going to do is rewrite this as two separate inequalities. So first one, two is greater than y, and second one, y is greater than or equal to five. Now, first one we'll go with is two is greater than y. We swap the inequality around, make y the subject, like so. Next one. We go y is greater than or equal to 5. So that one's actually pretty easy. All right, now it's time to plot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ruler like always, and I'm going to line it up on my grid paper. If my computer will let me, and we'll start drawing a line. Now notice we're working between 2 and 5, so there's only a gap of 3. What I'll do is I'll double space this particular number, not number line so we'll go from two, three, four, five, and then two onwards. Putting in the arrows and putting in my notches. So this will be two. Then we go three, four, five, just over here. And if we want, we can put in a three, but we'll leave it off with this one. Now, next step is we'll plot y is less than two. 
uh, we'll put in the circle here, we leave it open, and then we're going to say y is less than 2. So it's going to go off to the left like so. And then we've got y is greater than or equal to 5. So what that is going to entail is that we draw a circle over there, and we fill it in, and then we point it in that direction. So what you can see here is that y takes on all values that are less than 2, as well as taking on all values greater than and inclusive of 5.